What are the dosage differences between hydroxyzine and Xanax? Hello and welcome to our discussion on the dosage differences between hydroxyzine and Xanax. These are two commonly prescribed medications for anxiety, but they have distinct dosage requirements and different effects on the body. Remember, always consult your healthcare provider for medical advice specific to your circumstances. What is hydroxyzine and what is the typical dosage? Hydroxyzine is an antihistamine used to treat symptoms of allergies, anxiety, and tension. It's also used as a sedative to treat sleep disorders. The typical dosage for hydroxyzine varies depending on the condition being treated. For anxiety and tension, the usual dose for adults is 50 to 100 mg up to 4 times daily. For allergies, adults typically take 25 mg 3 to 4 times daily. For sedation, the usual adult dose is 50 to 100 mg at bedtime. However, always follow your doctor's prescription, as these dosages can vary depending on the individual and their specific condition. What is Xanax and what is the typical dosage? Xanax, also known by its generic name Alprazolam, is a benzodiazepine. It's frequently used to treat anxiety disorders, panic disorders, and anxiety caused by depression. The typical dosage for Xanax also depends on the condition being treated. For anxiety disorders, the usual initial dose for adults is 0.25 to 0.5 mg three times daily. This dose can be increased every three to four days to a maximum daily dose of 4 mg. For panic disorders, the average dose can vary widely from 1 mg daily up to 10 mg daily, depending on the patient's response and tolerability. Just as with hydroxyzine, your healthcare provider will determine the correct dosage for you based on your specific needs. How do the dosage differences between hydroxyzine and Xanax matter? The dosages of these two medications differ quite significantly due to their different mechanisms of action and potency. Hydroxyzine is less potent than Xanax, hence the larger dose. Xanax is a more potent medication, so smaller amounts are required to achieve the desired effect. Both medications should only be taken as prescribed by a healthcare provider. Remember that a higher dosage doesn't necessarily imply a stronger effect. It's essential to follow the prescribed dosage because the drugs work differently and misuse can lead to severe side effects or dependency, especially in the case of Xanax. In conclusion, while both hydroxyzine and Xanax are used to treat anxiety and tension, they have different dosages due to their different potencies and mechanisms of action. Always follow your healthcare provider's directions when taking these medications to ensure your safety and the most effective treatment. It's important to remember that medication is just one part of an overall treatment plan for anxiety, which can also include therapy, lifestyle changes, and other treatments. Thank you for joining us in this discussion, and we hope this information has been helpful.